Hi Cancer, welcome to your September 2021 weekly tarot reading. You guys, I'm super excited to showcase a brand new tarot deck that I got for the channel. It's by Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my goodness, you guys, the illustrations is so mysterious and cool and so in depth. Um, he was born and raised in Boston, Massachusetts, where I'm from. So we were taught his writings, his poetry a lot in school. I'm sure you guys all learned about him too. But I'm excited to bring uh, his work to this channel. Now, this is a general reading, which means I could be talking about career, love, relationships, money, or all the above. And it's for the next seven days, a quick weekly check-in. So whenever you click on the video, this is day one, okay? And then the next seven days moving forward. If you're new here, hi, welcome, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Very happy to have you here. If you resonate with me as a reader, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. It really helps the channel out. And if you're looking to book a private reading, the link to my website can be found pinned at the top of the comments below and in the description box. And I also invite you to join my new Patreon where I do daily Monday through Friday daily readings, um, daily all sign readings. So on that note, let's begin. Spirit, what do we have for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the next seven days? What is going on in their world? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my adorable Krabby Patties. Now I'm going to lay out the first spread and then I'll go through each card individually, okay? Nice start. Okay. Your money's improving. That's that's a definite, okay? Beautiful. The sun is your mutual energy with someone on your mind, okay? Could be a Leo. Oh man. Something happened between you and another person. Your money situation is really, really improving, but your, your romantic situation, I feel like there was some sort of mixed communication, but I'll get to that. All right, so Cancer, your overall energy for the next seven days is the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Whenever I see the Ace of Cups as the overall energy, it tells me a few different things. A, a lot of my Krabby Patties are on the journey of self-love and not settling for anything less than what they deserve and I absolutely love it. Second, there could be someone that you are emotionally attached to and things have been a little bit rocky and you know, things have been so up in the air and there's been a lot of uncertainty. There could be a brand new beginning here. Or three, you're doing something financially with your career, your business, whatever, that's not only paying your bills, but also connecting to your emotional stability, okay? You don't actually just wake up um, going to your job because you know it pays you good money. You're actually happy to wake up to do your job. You're doing something emotionally fulfilling. So on that note, let's begin. Your current energy cancer is the world. This is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius energy. With the world card being your current energy, you're closing out some major cycle. You've already gone through the 21 steps that you needed to go through, and you're passing go getting your 200 bucks, right? Now, I see the world card similar to how I see someone graduating high school, getting their sticker on their paper from their teacher, and going to college. Okay, leaving one chapter filled with a lot of lessons that you've already learned for yourself, you retained all your valuable lessons, and now you're moving to your new journey. And you could be dealing with a fixed energy. Now, what surrounds you energetically is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, I feel like this is containing um, a lot of energy surrounding your work. Whatever you're doing for your job, keep at it because it's really going to be building into something very abundant. Okay, some of you guys could already be business owners or you're moving up in the corporate ladder or whatever you're doing for work, you're getting notice. People are seeing you as a very reliable person, a very dependable person, someone to be, you know, taken seriously. Okay, and this is building you a solid foundation for your future. All right, you could be dealing with a fixed energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you have that in your birth chart. But I'm, I don't know about you, but every cancer I've ever met has been a workhorse. You guys are the ones that take on so much and you've got very good work ethic. Now, there's somebody around you that may have went kind of cold on you. 
All right, this is the details about the person that you could be dealing with this week. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person just went ice cold. I don't know why. I'll dig in deeper throughout the spread. But this person went and shielded up their heart from you. I don't know if it's because of things that have happened to them in the past and they started seeing signs and signals that maybe you were about to showcase some of the things that they have moved on from in the past or something happened in their own life that they just couldn't take on any more um, emotional burden. Okay, it's like they went cold. Now, the potential challenge here is the tower. But the tower is coming in reverse because it's in my, my challenge position. Anytime I have the card in the challenge position, I automatically read it reverse. And the tower in reverse is the energy of avoiding the truth. Avoiding letting something fall so a new one can begin in its place. And I absolutely love that. That blood moon is piercing through that split tower. Okay? Which almost tells me that whatever is hidden beneath the surface in relation to you, a person, or whatever the case may be, whatever is a mystery to you right now, something's going to be shown through the light. Okay? Scorpio energy. Now, the mutual energy for you and whoever this person is, is the Four of Swords. You guys are not communicating. There is no communication. In fact, I feel like you and this person took a break on each other while you both fulfilled your financial obligations. I'm strongly getting that cancer. You decide to pull away your energy and just focus on your money, focus on your stability. Um, whatever you're doing for work, you're doing it well. And this person is as well. Okay, you're, you both are very independent people that don't like to depend on others financially and you guys, you guys throw yourself into your work to distract you from what you're feeling inside emotionally. It's like this moment, this person went cold and quiet on you. They threw their energy into their work, their business, their kids that they have, any, their schoolwork, whatever the case may be, to try and not think about you. They were trying to not think about you. Anything that reminded them of you, they, they immediately you know, flips the switch to distract them from something else, okay? It's like something went off on them. And so because of this, you decide to transmute your energy from your feelings for them into your work, okay? But you guys are recovering and I feel like you guys are coming out of this. Okay, I feel like you guys are coming out of this energy. I feel like you both needed this time away from each other to really seek clarity. And if you see these three swords hovering above your head, this tells me that whatever happened broke your heart. Them going quiet on you broke your heart. Now remember, remember this could be vice versa, but the sounds between you guys um, affected you both. So that's why you both threw yourself into your work. And then you see this sword right here. That's the ace of swords. That's truth and clarity coming in. Okay, so whatever is unclear right now will be made clear very soon. And your view of them is the Three of Swords. It's like you know that they're heartbroken about something. And if that's not the case, you see them in a third party. Whether they are still dealing with an ex that just kept on returning to their life, messing with everything that they're trying to build for themselves, or you see them as feeling very brokenhearted about why they had to pull away their energy from you. Whoever this person is to you in your life, Cancer, they have a lot of respect for you. They didn't want to do this. They were trying to protect themselves. I don't know what, what went down. I don't know if they started feeling like you weren't putting in the same effort as you once had or vice versa. I don't know. I don't know what happened. All I know is this person cares about you. They didn't have any ill feelings towards you, but there was something that shut them off. Okay? Now, they're viewing you as the Empress. Okay, this is Taurus Libra energy. They're viewing you as someone that's very loving, very nurturing. You may be a parent. Okay, they see you as someone that they wanted to build growth and expansion with. They see you as someone that is so open with your heart chakra that it was like abundance was following you or you were just attracting, you know, a lot of love your way. The Empress is always surrounded by loved ones, okay? Even if it's just one special person that loves you so dearly, you at least have one person around you that loves you to the bottom of the ocean, whether it's your mom, whether it's your sibling, 
your child, your pet, there's at least a minimum of one person around you that loves you so unconditionally. And they see that about you. Okay? Now, with the mutual energy moving forward, being the sun, Leo energy, I feel like there's going to be some clarity coming in very, very soon. And since this is for the next seven days, if this is resonating with you, Cancer, there's going to be a message coming in. However, I feel like you're the one that's going to be sending the message. And I'll get to that in a moment. Remember, it definitely can be reversed. But with the mutual energy being the sun, this is showcasing the, the inner joy that you both feel around each other. It's like you guys have this vibrant energy when you guys are in each other's space. Things may look kind of murky right now because of the silence, but when you guys are around each other, it's like the mood is, the, is just so childlike, but not in a very degrading way. It's like you both bring out the kid in each other. Okay, this person knows how to get you to laugh so hard you start laughing, crying tears, or you know, laughing so hard you, you, you sneak out a fart because <laughs> you can't hold it in any longer. It's that type of energy. You guys will be in the car together just singing to all these random songs, and it's just, it just, it felt so right. And that's why you just can't understand what happened. They went ice cold, ice cold on you. Now, I wasn't going to clarify any of these cards for the weekly check-in, but I feel like I need to clarify the Queen of Swords for you. I can't leave you hanging on, on this card, so I'll get a clarify on that. Now, your advice, Cancer, is the Page of Swords. With your advice being the Page of Swords, Spirit is wanting you to get more information on what could go wrong or what's been happening with this person. I feel like the more you know, the more you'll understand why they went quiet. And of course, I'm going to clarify. But um, they want you to get more details before making any um, final decisions about what to do here. Because I do see you with the world card as your current energy. It's like you are about to leave something in the past. You're going to leave something um, wrapped up. But I feel like there's something you need to know. I feel like there's more to this, this story. So let me clarify that Queen of Swords. The Lovers is on the bottom. I feel like... Um, why this person went quiet on you has nothing to actually do with you. But for others, I feel like someone here felt like the other person gave up, didn't put any effort. Okay, someone felt like, whoa, this doesn't feel like it used to. You don't text me as much anymore. You're not as enthused with, you know, hanging out. Or there's just something off this person felt or you felt about the connection. Okay. The Judgment and the Eight of Pentacles, okay? I was clarifying the Queen of Swords and for the reason why they have gone cold and quiet. This could be telling me that A, someone from their past has returned wanting to reconcile with the Judgment card, wanting to put forth an effort towards the connection with them and it left them feeling so mentally confused, okay? It's like they had something going with you and everything was fine, everything was good with the Sun card, and then uh, I feel like someone returned who they have a strong history with, got in their head, got in their head, come on, come on, we can, we can reconcile differences, can you forgive me, I'll, I'll put forth more effort, and it got your person shut, shutting down and confused, okay? Now, let me get more on that tower, okay? Why is that tower here in the reverse? The five of wands and the death card, look at that. Again, when I read the challenge position, I read it reverse and the death card in reverse is resisting an ending. Okay, I feel like there was a past person in your person's life or yours that didn't want an ending and it caused a lot of drama and this person couldn't take it anymore. It was too exhausting dealing with um, their emotions being pulled left and right. So they decided to just shut down on everybody. I feel like they shut down on everybody. And look, the Six of Cups is in reverse now. I don't do reversals. There's not one other card in my deck that's reverse, as you can see. But somehow that Six of Cups wanted to show up reverse while I was still clarifying the challenge position, which means I return it to the upright. Now, it's a past person that returned. Okay? There's a past person that returned. Now, let's see what's going on with you guys. 
your energy moving forward is the sun. So it tells me that there's some sort of clarity coming in or there's a situation that's going to make you both happy. Okay, why is that sun here? Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. There's going to be a message coming in or you're sending the message. All right, the Page of Cups is being emotionally vulnerable, opening up. Not a lot. The Page of Cups is not someone that says, I love you, things like that. The Page of Cups is that energy of maybe texting someone, hey, I've been thinking about you. Are you okay? What's up? Or, hey, miss you. Just want to check in on you. It's, it's showing that you care about someone without showing how much you care, but wanting to dip your toes in the water to see how they will respond to the initial um, uh, attempt at communication. And with that Knight of Pentacles being there, it could very well bring something stable, okay? Now, let me get one more on your advice, and I'll get a card on your overall energy, and then I'll get some oracles. The sun. Your advice is to get more information with the Page of Swords, because something will make sense to you very soon with the sun card, and you're gonna feel a lot better. Whatever happens with this connection moving forward, as long as you get some sort of clarity, I feel like it'll be easier for you to make your decision on whether to stay or go, okay? Regardless, you've got a new opportunity. I feel like this is connecting to your work too, though. Why is that Ace of Cups here? Whoa! The Queen of Swords, okay? This Queen of Swords energy is going to know, let you know what's going on. And it's going to allow you to have some sort of relief, okay, so that you can have a new beginning whether it's closure, where you're able to move on from this connection altogether, or whatnot. But your money's improving with the Ten of Pentacles. So I want you to just focus on your money right now and really get some more information about what's going on with this person before making any final decisions. All right, let me get a hidden message. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. I love you, Cancer. And comment down below. I love reading your comments. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. You've got someone that's really trying to figure things out and they just don't want to drag you along with their, their confused energy. They just don't want to confuse you. They would rather just detach from everyone and just try to find their place rather than letting you see all their ups and downs, okay? I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. Okay, don't hold on to that energy just yet. Don't hold on to that energy just yet until you get more de details, okay? But whatever happened between you guys, there was no hate towards each other, I don't feel like, but something else interfered. Compromise, this is temperance. Someone wants to compromise with you, whether it's wanting to be friends and see where it goes in the future, or to just make amends. Someone just wants to find some sort of balance with you. Okay, you've got abundance heading your way and I'm strongly feeling it's tied to your work situation. So please focus all your energy on your work right now and your self love and things like that and everything else will work out for you when the time is right. Okay, so you've got Taurus here. You've got um, heavy Libra, heavy, heavy Libra. We got Leo, we've got um, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um, that's the main hitters, but it could be anybody. So I hope this reading helps. I freaking love you guys to pieces. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. Share, do whatever you need to do. Help this channel grow. I love you guys. Bye.